Thank you. Well, we know that flooding is going to be maybe another concern tonight. Fast rising flood waters roared through one Com County neighborhood last night so fast and so high. Homes in the Cooper's Creek subdivision in Smyrna had water coming inside and people's cars were flooded. And tonight they are bracing for some more rain. 11 Alive's Molly Oak live in that neighborhood tonight. And Molly, do they know what caused this yet? Well, the county says a lot of rain in a short amount of time is partially to blame. I mean, it flooded that street right behind me, just covered in water and into those homes. But when I spoke with the county, they said a clogged culvert is likely to blame. It, it was really, really crazy. Miyaka Sullivan. I never seen anything like this. Saw the storms rolling in. And that cul-de-sac was, you know, flooded really bad. And then I came back down here because it started rushing. Um, across the street from my house where we have a gazebo. Well, had a gazebo. And then about 20 minutes later, it just caved completely in. Ross Cavett with Cobb County says this area. There's a culvert that goes between this cul-de-sac and the one further down the road. Got a ton of rain in a short amount of time, clogging the culvert with debris. There's a car down there, there's a gazebo down there, and a bunch of trees and debris. That went and hit that uh, culvert down and on this road, where there's two 70 inch drain lines, collapsed one of them or both of them, and then completely clogged up the uh, drainage system. Displacing 19 people. Today, Cavett says emergency management was going door to door, talking with folks in the neighborhood while crews try to figure out a fix. And we're concerned because there's four houses on the other side of that culvert down here uh, that we're worried about because the roadway could be compromised if we get another heavy rain event this evening. You know, Mayaka says that she's lucky because her house was sitting higher up, so she really just had a front row seat to watching all that damage rush through. She was on the other street, not this street behind me. She actually shared her prayers for the families affected. Coming up tonight at 5, we're taking you inside one of those homes where that family says they had five feet of water inside. For now, reporting live in Cobb County, Malio, 11 Live News.